In question number 6, we're told a circle C has equation x squared plus y squared plus 8y minus 24 is equal to 0. In the first part of the question for 3 marks, we're asked to find the centre and the radius of the circle. We can put the equation of a circle in the form x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. This gives us a centre at a comma b and it gives us a radius now of r. So radius is equal to r. So completing the square, we're going to have x squared plus y plus half a coefficient, which is 4. We square the bracket, we subtract away the 16 and subtract away the existing 24. Setting that equal to 0, then we can rewrite this as x squared plus y plus 4 all squared is equal to 40. We can see from this now that the centre will be 0 minus 4. So centre will have 0 comma minus 4. The radius now will be the positive root of 40. So we can say the positive root of 40. And writing this now as a simplified third, the root of 40 will give me now 2 root 10. So this is the radius and now the centre is at 0 comma minus 4. In the second part of the question for two marks, we're told the point A, 2 comma 2, lies on the circumference of C. Given that AB is a diameter of a circle, find the coordinates of B. If we draw a quick sketch, this question should be made relatively straightforward. So what we're going to have then is the centre. We've just found the centre and we have the coordinates 0 comma minus 4. So we've got 0 comma minus 4. I'm going to put this point just here, and that's 2, comma 2. And then we're going to have the other point over here, and I'm going to give those now the coordinates, x, comma, y. So this is A, and this is B. A couple of different ways you can do this, but using now that the centre is going to be the midpoint, I can say that x plus 2 over 2 will be equal to 0, and then I can say that y plus 2 over 2 will be equal to minus 4. So if we solve this equation, we can see now multiplying both sides by 2 and subtracting 2, x will be equal to minus 2. If we now solve this equation, multiplying both sides by 2, that will give me minus 8. Subtracting 2, y will be equal to minus 10. So we can say now that B will have the coordinates minus 2 comma minus 10. I've done that algebraically. You can do it by simply considering the geometrical representation of these two points and working out the difference between them. Either way round, we should state now the coordinates of B give us now minus 2 comma minus 10. 